All right, so we're going to talk about display layers. Display layers are found in our channel box layer editor. If you don't have that open, go to the top right hand side of your UI. Okay, and is this icon to the very, very far right show and hide the channel box. Okay, again, they're part of the channel box layer editor and you will find those at the very, very bottom. Okay, you will notice that on the display layers, we also have render layers and animation layers. We're not going to bother right now with those two. We're going to talk only about the display layers. Right below the display tab, you have layers, options, and help. Each one of those has its own set of menus. Okay, and if you have any questions about the display layers, you can go to help, help on display layers. All right, the very basic concept of display layers is that if you select an object, right, you can place that object inside of a layer. And as you can see, these four icons to the right-hand side, the first one is move selection up a list and move selection down a list. Okay, so this will deal with moving your layers up and down. Okay, and on the far right, you will have create a new layer, right, which will create a new empty layer. But the very, very far right icon is create a new layer and assign the selected object. That's why when we select the object, if we click on this layer, right, you will see that immediately we can turn on the visibility by clicking on the V key for that specific layer, on and off. Okay. If I turn that one on and I turn the visibility on the other layers, you will notice that there are other objects in different layers. Now let me turn all the layers on. And if I go to layers, I can use the delete and use layers. Again, this layer has the cube, this layer has the sphere and the cone. So if I go to layers, delete and use layers, this is how we delete and use layers. Now let's go to the basics of a layer. The V stands for visibility. Then to the right of the V, we have the letter P. So as the V hid the visibility of this layer. The letter P will hide the visibility of the layer during playback. To the right we have an empty box, right? If I click on it once, I will get the letter T. As you can see, this will template my object. Now let's go back. If I click on that box again, I will get the letter R. And as you can see, the wireframe of our object becomes black. This will reference the object, meaning that I cannot select the object. And if I click on that corner again, now I can select the object. Okay. Now to the far right of the layers, we have the layer name as it was when it was created. To change that, all we have to do is double click on that name and I get the edit layer window. Here I can change the name of our layer. I can also change the displayed mode from normal, template, or reference. I can select hide on playback so it will not show during playback. And I can colorize the layers. And if I hit save, you will notice that my layer is now colorized. It has a new name. But as you can see here, when I have the wireframe unshaded, which is this button right here, that wireframe will be the same color as my layer. So if I have other objects, for example, I'm going to turn on the visibility of the other layer and I'm going to double click on the name. I'm going to go to the edit layer and I'm going to call this one sphere underscore cone. And I'm going to give it a yellow color. When I hit save, look what happens to the color of the wireframe. So basically, this is how you place objects inside of a display layer.